Welcome to Holy Cross Lutheran Church Storytime. Today we celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus. We invite you to sing along with the angels. Now watch our puppets present the messengers. shouted the Savior has come Jesus is born you can go see him in Bethlehem he is with his mother she wrapped the baby in cloths and placed him in a manger the shepherds were so startled by what they had seen that they just could not speak but then something even more astounding happened the entire sky filled with angels they were all singing it was so bright, the ground and sheep were as visible as if it was daytime. They could not understand what was happening. The sound of the angels' voices was the most delightful sound they had ever heard. Now the angels had just left, and the shepherds talked about the news sent by these heavenly messengers. Those were God's angels, whispered one shepherd. Another asked, what is it they said? What did they say about God's son? Here in Bethlehem, Jesus, the son of God, was born. Yet another shepherd stuttered with wonder. The messenger said he could go into Bethlehem and see the baby, the first shepherd said out loud. Yet another shepherd asked, I wonder what the son of God looks like. Let's go. They all agreed, and off to town they hurried. The shepherds strolled through the town, not exactly sure where to look for the baby. Bethlehem was busier than usual. The governor had ordered families from all over the country to be counted. Each family needed to go to the town where their whole family first lived. For Mary and Joseph, that meant they had to travel to Bethlehem. It was a long distance for them to travel. Not just Mary and Joseph, but lots and lots of people came. King David had been the grandfather to many people. All the grandchildren and their grandchildren now had arrived in Bethlehem, just as the governor had told them to. The shepherds could see store owners getting their things ready to sell. The smell from bakeries told them fresh bread was baking for people to buy. But where was baby? the baby? Where was God's son? Don't the people know what had happened? They looked so busy doing their tasks that it appeared these people were not aware that Jesus had been born. Finally, the lead shepherd asked a man in the street, Sir, see, I see you have much to do. I don't want to interrupt your business, but could you tell us where the baby is? Baby? The man was confused. There are hundreds of people that came into town these last few days. I'm sure there's more than one baby. Excuse me, I mean the Son of God. The angel told us Jesus had been born. We are looking for him, explained the shepherd. I'm not sure what kind of dream you may have had. But don't you think that if God's son were here, 
Everyone would know it. I'm busy, the man said gruffly. As the shepherds walked around the town, they were amazed that no one knew that the Son of God was here in Bethlehem. How can we find him? How will we know it is Jesus? They asked each other. As they wondered whether or not they would see Jesus, a new sound was heard. The simple, small sound of an infant echoed out onto the street. There, the smallest shepherd pointed to the, in the direction of the stable. The shepherds quietly walked closer to the doorway where the sound of the baby could be heard. As they came closer, suddenly a tall man stood in the doorway directly in front of them. What do you want? The man startled them. After taking a breath, one shepherd explained, We're sorry, sir, but an angel... There were lots of angels, another shepherd interrupted. The whole sky was full of angels, added yet another shepherd. The first shepherd continued, that's right. At first there was one angel that told us God's son had been born here in Bethlehem. His name is Jesus. We've come to see the baby. We want to see the son of God. The man in the doorway sighed and took a step back. The shepherds could now see the baby and his mother. She had wrapped him in cloths just like the angel had told them. He was resting in a manger. The man in the doorway explained, My name is Joseph. This is Mary, pointing to the baby's mother. And yes, this is Jesus. This baby is like no other. He is God's own son. The delight and excitement the shepherds felt was even more than when the angels were singing to them. How can this be? One shepherd asked. An angel came to me, Joseph explained. Mary is not my wife, but the angel told me that she would have a son. The child is the son of God. The angel told me it was my duty and honor to protect both Mary and Joseph, even though the child is not my own. I too had an angel come to me, Mary said to the shepherds. The angel told me that I was to be the mother of the son of God. I was confused at first, but then I realized what an amazing blessing it is to be the mother of God's child. Messengers, the first shepherd whispered. I can remember being taught that angels are God's messengers. That's true, Joseph agreed. Angels have spoken to each of us here. They are a blessing, Mary added. But how can it be that God's son is here in a stable with donkeys and cows? Joseph answered, the governor required an accounting of people. All of our relatives came to Bethlehem at this time, quite a family reunion. There were so many families, Joseph continued. Bethlehem was not prepared for this many people at one time. By the time we arrived, there was no room for us anywhere. But I had promised God to protect Mary and his son. I knew God would provide just the right place for Jesus to be born. And so he did. That's why we are here. As Mary sang to Jesus, the shepherds enjoyed listening. <laughs>
moment to think about what God had done. He sent his messengers to each of them in his own way. Then God made everything happen just the way he had always promised. After a while, the shepherd said goodbye to Mary and Joseph. After one last look at the Son of God, they slowly walked out the back door. With joyful hearts, they knew it was time to head back to their pastures. As they met people in the streets, they told their story. They had seen the Son of God. Now they had become his messengers too. Now it's our turn to be God's messengers. He has told us his story. We know about the birth of his own son, Jesus. God sent his son for us. We cannot save ourselves. Learning about salvation teaches about God's love, grace, mercy, and forgiveness. It is all to God's glory. Jesus came to save us from our sins. It is because of his death and resurrection that we know for certain we will go to heaven. God's plans, God's plans are always perfect. He loves us so much. As we celebrate Advent and Christmas, let's ask God to show us how we can be messengers for him. As we light Advent candles too, we can know Jesus is the best gift of all. Let's all be God's messengers.